I had I had the had to choose five countries, and I was that lucky. I got my first priority, which was New Zealand. The reason why I wanted to come to New Zealand was uh, I had a Christmas um, over Christmas holiday in Australia for four weeks, um, and then I just thought that that was pretty amazing. Then I heard about New Zealand, and that was even better. They told me, so I thought that I wanted to go here for for a whole year. So I was lucky enough to get here. I think the biggest difference in New Zealand compared to Denmark is that um, you're out of the classroom a lot of the time. You're not just sitting down and listening to the teacher. You're out at the lake, you're out biking, out cl rock climbing, out doing stuff instead of just being home at school. And I think it's re really cool. I like the, the class that I've had that's called Rec Skills, which is being outside and doing sports and stuff outside instead of being inside. We don't have that in Denmark. Uh, and I think it's really great that we have that here. Mm. I think that's really an international student course that you have to take if you're, especially if you're here in, in Fjordland. Oh, I think it's really cool living in a small town in some ways, especially because everybody knows your name and you just have to try to keep up with everybody else's names, which is quite hard sometimes because you just meet so many new people every single day. And I've been here for four months now and I still meet new people every day. Mm. And I like it. So my free time here in Tiena, I, um, I swim a lot and I'm a part of the athletics club. So I go to races for both swimming and athletics, which is running. Um, and I've been on the soccer team. I'll try to be part of the volleyball team and uh, I'm going to play rugby next winter when the season starts again. The way I think studying in New Zealand would help me would be to prepare me to go home to school in Denmark. Um, like having this gap year off is just really useful especially because you learn English and you just get a taste of what it's like to go home to Denmark and the next three years for me what it's going to be like.